okay in this today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful top it is easy and the stitches used here this is a part is used with a v stitch a uh, double crochet back loop only for this ribbing here um half double crochet and then you will have double crochet and single crochet in this part so you will need a hand i'm using a hundred percent cotton yarn and a 3mm crochet hook you will need a needle and some bead uh, you need stitch marker a needle to weave in your ends and to take your own measurement you will need your measuring tape so this can be customized and made according to what you like or to what size that you need okay so let's start so we'll start by making the ribbing for this part so to get the size of this one take your measuring tape and ra wrap it around your torso and here i made about 26 inches when you i fold it in half so i get 13 so i have 26 and 13 when you fold it in half that is the size or the length of this bun you are going to make so take your own measurement and please do make it snug because it this will stretch a little when you put it on yourself so let's start so if you're planning to wear it this summer please do use a 100% cotton or a cotton blended yarn and speaking of yarn you can use the link in my description box in the description box of this video uh, to buy cotton yarn from my affiliate link and when you buy from that link you don't have to pay extra money for it okay i'll just get a little commission when you buy from that link so thank you so i'm going to use the chainless foundation of half the book crochet so if you're new to this make a slip knot and chain two and yarn over and into the first stitch here first chain i mean uh, take your yarn and pull like this you'll have three loops yarn over you release one and you'll have three again yarn over and release three and that's how you make a half double crochet so yarn over again to continue you see these loops here through both of those pull out your yarn and make sure it's the same height like that you don't make it like this or you'll have a curved uh, row so release one and release three so here i made in this top here i made a 12 half double crochet so you can make this uh, wider or just a little bit and that's how how you prefer you can do how to prefer okay so i made 12 and you continue like this only okay and i will make 12 only so i have 12 half double crochet so you are going to chain two and the chain two will not count as your stitch so into your first stitch make your half double crochet through both the loops and this is how i prefer to do it the first one and the last one always through both the loops and for the other stitches here you are going to work back loop only so i made 12 half double crochet so i'm going to get 10 half double crochet back loop only and then 11 and the 12th one on the last stitch here so yarn over and back loop only if you are a beginner please practice your stitches first and after that you'll find it very easy to crochet this top so that's 10 and the last one here And I'll chain two, turn and the first one through both the loops. If you need to count your half double crochet, okay, you have to, you need to get the same number of half double crochet in every row. So that you can have like straight ribbing. That's four, five. 
Then half the double crochet back loop only and then the last one when you have this chain here uh, the previous row you started with a chain two so in between in this space right here okay this is your first half double crochet and this is the chain two in this space just insert your hook and make your half double crochet so you chain two again and we continue the same way and your last half double crochet will always be in this space okay when you return in this space here so for this one here I made about 60 row sorry 62 rows of half double crochet here I'm going to do the same in this one also so if you count by the ribs here you can have the ribs or the ridge whatever you call it uh, you will have 31 of this or you can have any other number if you use your own measurement um, if you are using a different size of yarn and hook size you will have a different number of rows so please please use measurement it this whole top is based only on measurement not the number of rows you are doing in whichever part of the top okay so i'll see you when we are done with the ribbing here so as you can see here i have 13 inches and let's count the ribs one two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty six twenty eight thirty and this one is thirty one thirty one ribs and when you got or you can have the any number of rows or ribs or ridge like that okay you can have any number just use your own measurement and um, when you fold this in half uh, if you still unsure about the size you can wrap this around your torso okay around your body so when you're done this will be the right side okay this one uh, so take the wrong side like this and if you need place a marker on this first stitch of this one and the last stitch of this one here just to keep it in place and insert your hook from this first stitch here this space see where you have this tail and take the loop from the other end and I'm going to take this with this one so turn and we are going to slip stitch here so for this little tail you can weave in using your needle so we are going to slip stitch from this next stitch here and from the other end slip stitch like that this next one from the next stitch of the other end and slip stitch like that and this is how you are going to join using slip stitches only your last stitch like that and chain one and please remember the chain here are not going to count like the stitches so and when you look at these rows here you can see that you have in one row you have chain two and in the next row you have just a half double crochet so in every space that you have a chain two you are going to make 
two half double crochet so this is a chain two here i will make two half double crochet one two and into this next row here i have a half double crochet so one half double crochet into that so this is what you get please have a look and then you'll have two again because we have to chain two and then in this space only one because we have a half double crochet and this is what we are going to repeat for this row okay and we will end with one half double crochet in this last row here because we already started with two no so when you made your last half double crochet here uh we wouldn't join just yet um number so count the number of half double crochet that you make if they are in even number then you can join and if you have an odd number by the when you are here add one more half double crochet into this same space here to make it even because we need to divide these stitches in two two parts okay so count so mine here has an odd number so i'm going to add one more half double crochet into this space to make it even and like that you are going to join this is your first half double crochet so on top of that not on the chain one so you chain one again and now we can turn our work by the right side this is the right side of our work this is the wrong side so for the next row we are going to work one half double crochet into each stitch so into the first stitch make your half double crochet and if you need you can keep a marker in this space right here in this one this is the chain one that you made so keep your marker here you are going to join in this space like in every row so just walk one half double crochet into each stitch without increasing or decreasing just one half double crochet until you get here so when you made your last half double crochet join in the space where you keep your marker just insert your hook and slip stitch so you chain one again and turn we always turn okay make your half double crochet in the first stitch and if you need you can keep your marker in this space again in your first half double crochet so i'm not keeping mine and you can continue working just like that only keep your marker in this space here this is the space where you join so work half double crochet into each stitch again so again you join here behind your first half double crochet so this is what you have when you are joining so you chain one turn and continue working one half double crochet into each stitch um for this part also you can do with your own measurement okay so as for me i use uh, two inches as you can see from here to here it measures about two inches and if we count by rows i have six rows here so i already have one two three rows so which means three more rows to get uh, to two inches if you like this part to be longer and more rows um, so when you finish this last row here uh, divide your stitches into two parts okay keep your one marker in this space here because we are going to turn so you will make your first half double crochet here so keep a marker in this space here before your first stitch count and you should have the same number on both sides um, and for me here i will have 47 on each side 47 here and 47 here count by the number of half double crochet or you can count by the number of stitches also and then um on the other side also you keep a marker in and in the space where you have your marker you are not going to work you will have uh, two equal parts okay with a gap of one stitch in between 
so my total stitches here is 94 uh, so when we divide it we should have uh, 47 stitches on each side for the front and for the back and since we are not working on this one stitch it means I have only 46 so I will work only 46 half double crochet for this part so make your first one here and if you using a different measurement and you made different number of rows in this part you will have a different number here so count and divide that in half and you will have two equal parts with a gap of one stitch so i'm going to make 46 half double crochet and when i have 46 i will stop and i'll show you what to do again so i have 46 half double crochet and when you finish yours chain two and the chain two will not count as your stitch so turn and work one half double crochet into each stitch again okay one half double crochet into each stitch i'll see you by the end of this row so make your last half double crochet in this space between the chain and your first half double crochet and so for this part also we are going to work four rows without decrease uh, so we already made two this one and this one so two more rows here repeat the same so here i made my four rows one two three four so on the fifth row here we are going to decrease to give shape to this part okay Look at this okay so done insert your hook into the first stitch and into the next stitch you'll have four loops on your hook and close all and that's how you decrease so and then work one half double crochet into each stitch without decrease again and we will add our decrease by the end of our row and when you have the last two stitches here we will decrease so at this point i'm going to ask you to do one thing so take a yarn like this with a contrasting color or then you can just place a stitch marker so i'm going to put this yarn here so that when we work the other part of this top we will know on which row to start decrease so this is our first decreasing row so keep a marker like that and then continue this row again i'll see you so here the last two stitches insert your hook and into the next and close so you chain two and please remember this one uh, we are not going to decrease in every row so the next round we work without decrease so just one half double crochet into each stitch just the usual and we will decrease again on the next row so keep that in mind because when we work the other part it's the same repeat only so here you have this decrease so into the space between the chain and your first decrease here you will have one half double crochet so chain two and we are decreasing again so into the next stitch into the next like that and continue again and we will add our decrease at the end of this row so again the last two stitches here and you add your decrease chain two and for the next row we are going to work without decrease again just one half double crochet into each stitch so this will be our last decreasing row so make your decrease and again put a marker on that space so you'll know that this is your last decreasing row
and continue so my last decrease here chain two so if you take a look it has taken a shape it is slanting from this side and uh, also from this side and so now i'm going to ask you to take measurement okay so i want my i'm a small person so take your measurement okay or ask someone to help you take the measurement of your arm and for this part i want my armhole to be at seven inches so i'm going to work at least four inch for this part here okay so this is the first row this one uh, look for your first row and take the measurement from that this is it so i'm at three almost three and a half so i'm going to work in this rows here until i have four inches so if you are a big person tell us uh, make more rows here so we are not going to work the full length with this part so here i'll show you i work four inches from here to here and then the other three inches i work with the strap here okay uh, just to give you an idea of what i'm talking about so take your measurement of your arm and then you decide how you i mean the length of this part if you have maybe like eight inches for the arm hole here if you need eight inches then you can do about four and a half inches for this part or five and then work three in this strap here okay if you are a big person please adjust to your own length or you can try it on yourself and see if it is the length that you need uh, we all have different bodies so we just have to work according to that so here i will work two more rows here with half double crochet but we are not going to add any more decreases so just half double crochet into each stitch okay and this is one one row and i will work two as i told you so this is one and then again another row and after that i'll show you what to do so this is my last decreasing row so as you can see i made two rows here one two two rows of half double crochet and when you finish that chain one and make one single crochet into each stitch for the this last row here and after that cut your yarn and secure okay just single crochet normal single crochet into each stitch after that i'll show you what to do so when you're done cut your yarn and secure so you're done with one part and now to the next part so take your yarn and make a slip knot so you have your marker here take this marker and mark it onto the first row here first row so you leave this one stitch okay this is the first stitch that you have your half double crochet so if this is the stitch you keep your marker so into the next stitch because i told you we will have one a gap of one stitch between the back and the front so make your chain two and work half double crochet in the same space because the chain two is not your stitch and i'm going to work 46 half double crochet or for you if you made a different number you should have that same number of half double crochet until your next stitch marker so for me i will have 46 okay so when you are here you should have one stitch before this other part here so we made four rows here before we make our first decrease 
so we are going to do the same here so you already made one so make three more rows here after that we will start our first decrease when we are at this row where you mark so here after four rows and this is the first decreasing row so you see this decrease here uh, this one where we mark so I move my marker into that next row and you are going to repeat this exactly the same number of rows and the same number of decrease that you made from this other side in this one here and your last row will be a single crochet row just like what we did here so the next row is your decreasing row okay and after this row you will have one row without decrease again exactly as we did in here so please remember after a decreasing row you'll have a normal row and then decrease and then one row and then one decrease here and after the de this last decrease you are going to have to have four crochet row so continue that after that we will do this part so when you're done here and now it's done to do this part so i'm going to chain two and make four half double crochet one two three four and then i'll chain two again and turn and i'll make four half double crochet again here so make as many rows as you need and here i make th three inches here so i make as many rows as i need to take the measurement from this point when i fold this band in half i will get three inches so like i said earlier i'm going to make i need seven inches of this armhole so i'm going to make this part less than three inches so when we use it it will stretch okay so i'm not going to make full three inches i'm going to make it a bit under three inches so you use your own measurement and like i said earlier if you need it bigger then you will need more rows in this part here so just work for half double crochet as many rows as you need and to be precise for this one i made 17 rows from here until the last one here so you use your own measurement so i made 17 rows here and when i fold this in half i get a bit under three inches as you can see and this is like exactly what i need so turn your work inside out this is the inside and then cut your yarn not too short okay we need this yarn only to join here so and secure first So count four stitches from the back side. One, sorry, one, two, three, four. And join with slip stitches. Slip stitch slip stitch and slip stitch
cut uh, or sorry you already cut uh, yeah so secure here and you can use your needle to weave in this end so from this part again take your yarn make a slip knot and come four stitches one two three four insert your hook chain two and again you repeat what we did here make exactly the same number of rows and join the same way we join in this part here after that i'll show you what to do So here in the underarm we are going to work, I mean in this part of the sleeve, we are going to work one single crochet into each row, okay. So in this corner here, single crochet and this is a half double crochet, so single crochet into that. This is a chain 2, 1 into that one into the half double crochet one into the chain two and just like that until the end of the row one on the chain two one on the half double crochet one on the chain two one on the half double crochet and continue and you do the same thing for this other side also and then you will get to the ruffles after that. And then join with a slip stitch. And cut your yarn. Secure and do the same thing with the other sleeve. After that, we will do this part and then the ruffles so now insert your hook in one of the stitches from the back side i like this to be the back side of my top this part where i have to join so insert your hook in one of these and work single crochet into each stitch uh, and when you are at this joint here you do the same way we do it in here one in the chain two one in the, the half double crochet one in the chain two and then continue all across and when you are at the space where you start join with a slip stitch and secure your yarn so when you finish this part um here this is just join you can see the join here it is visible so you count this join will act as a border okay so you can one two three four four stitch into the join here on the fifth one insert your hook and make a chain three and the chain three here will count as your first double crochet so when you end your next row you can end it on top of this chain three so you are going to make two double crochet into the same stitch in each stitch okay to get the ruffles or the frills so 
it's really simple okay just do double crochet in the same space and when to stop you would see from this side again this is the join you have four stitches from this side one two three four and then you'll have again from this other side one two three four and your last two double crochet will, will be in the fifth stitch from this side as well so keep a marker on the fourth one so you'll have a total of eight stitches in this part okay just two double crochet into each stitch until you are at this part so for the next row you chain three again and make one double crochet into that so in the next you'll have one double crochet and then you'll have two double crochet in the same space you'll have one double crochet and then two double crochet in the same space and we are going to continue this row just like this okay you'll have two one two one two one two until the end of the row so as i said your last half double crochet on top of this chain three uh it's tight so um i will cut my yarn secure and you can use your needle to weave in your ends so one sleeve is done and the ruffle looks really cute and then you can do the same thing for this part also okay look for the join here and keep a marker in that join then you'll have one two three four stitch and on the fifth you make your to have double crochet into each stitch and then you come from this side also you'll have one two three four and your last one will be here and repeat what you just did in here okay it's the same uh, so when you finish that i'm going to show you how to do this part okay i'm i'm showing you how to do this part so you already know how to do this one so onto this part and for this part here um for this little part i fold this part in half like this and keep a marker here and then you can use your needle to sew this part just like that okay Use your needle to sew this and add your bead in here and it will look like this when you're done. So make your slip knot and into one of this ridge here. Okay, insert your hook into one of the space here. And then chain one so pull this um, pull this yarn okay use your middle finger twist that and into the same space you pick up a yarn this is how you it will look like take the yarn like that take the yarn like that and you just made a double crochet so you chain two and double crochet in that same space and you just made your v-stitch so yarn over and look here you will have uh, i'll see you closely you will have one v in this space in this i'll call this valley okay one in this valley and one in this space in this where you have this ridge or you can call this a hill then you'll have another one in here 
another one in here like that okay so you yarn over so you yarn over and into this space here Ali so double crochet chain two and double crochet in that same space yarn over and in this valley chain two double crochet in the same space this is what you'll have and you can continue doing this all across i will see you right here when you made your last v in this ridge here so by the end of this row this is what you get so you join on this double crochet insert your hook in this space and join with a slip stitch and then slip stitch into the chain space here and make a chain one okay this is how you start or end your row in each row from now onwards so twist that and into the chain space your first double crochet so chain two and double crochet in the same space so you have the next chain space into that make your double crochet chain two and double crochet and this is what you are going to repeat until you get to the length that you need your top to be okay so you can use your own measurement you can make it shorter or longer according to what you prefer so if you still want to increase this part okay so after you made your v in the chain space here you will have this next space between your two v's in that space make a v and this is how you increase in this stitch okay so i made my v here in the chain space and then another v in the space between the two v's here or the double crochet here see and then i'll continue again chain two double crochet in the same space and it will look like this and this is how you continue working and when you are here you always join if you have a look at this one when you insert your hook in this space here this is what it looks like okay so this is where you join your last stitch here this is where you join your round so i hope you understand what i'm trying to say and if you still have questions or if you have suggestions regarding on how to improve my videos or anything please do feel free to write them down in the comment below or if you found the video helpful do give it a thumbs up and do share thank you